And welcome back everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some more Legends of Runeterra. We're going to be playing four ranked decks today. We're in gold. We're going to be playing some fearsome mid-range up first. A deck that felt really good whenever we played it the other day. Let's see how it, it feels today. Um, uh, yeah, so basically this is a mid-range deck built around the fearsome mechanic that Elise and a lot of the spiders have fearsome, you know, being that it can only be blocked by with uh, can only be blocked by enemies with three or more power, and so we make it difficult for our opponent to block. Maybe our mo like one of our most important cards is this frenzy skitter that whenever you play it, you give all of your enemy creatures minus one minus zero. I know that doesn't look very good of like the minus and then one, but anyway, you give the enemies minus one minus zero, so all the three power creatures they have can't block because um you know your creatures have to be blocked by something three or, or bigger so that helps you that helps you out um you know we have hecarim at the top end and so you were mostly a shadow isles deck we're splashing piltover and zon for removal spells that are also burn spells that can go upstairs to finish the games out we have two get excited three mystic shots um but then i guess the other one that's not that doesn't go upstairs, but also something we're splashing is thermogenic beam. All right. Um, so we're going to go ahead and give this a try. Um, let's see. So we're in play. And we're playing fearsome mid-range. And we're playing ranked. And it looks like I'm in gold three right now. So here we go. Hey, Sam. Yeah. First exhibition didn't go well. Hey, that's you know to be expected. Hope hope you learned. Hope you're enjoying it. And <laughs> we need more poison puff caps. Poison puff caps are fun. I do need. I'm, I am trying to get more Teemos to make a poison puff cap deck. I just try to get a new hand. I really like that hand too much. So you can see so our opponent's champions, Katarina and Zed. There's nothing to fear. Thanks, Storm. Storm, have you tried this deck out yet yourself? Elise has fearsome, so this 1-3 can't block, but the 1-3 can block the 1-1. One, one. But I can also just go plus three plus three. And then just kill their creature. Hey, Nocturne. Yeah, just changed the name today. You haven't played it yet, Storm? I Hope you give it a chance soon. It's pretty sweet. Yeah, yeah. I think... I think so. I all, That's all I've seen. Yeah, I think Mogwai has. That's all I've seen him play recently as well. All right, so keeping them from attacking by turning the Zed into being a 2-2. Two -two. And I'm going to take the trade if they allow it. They do not allow it. Um, all right, so I'll sack this and draw two. So young. Thanks, Nocturne. Yeah, exactly. That's what that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to be able to, you know, play different stuff and everything. So the YouTube channel is now just Hoktai. Um, Hawktie was taken up. Yeah, so YouTube channel is now just Hawktie. Hawktie was taken up on Twitch, so it's Hawktie Live here on Twitch. Stun an enemy. So stunning.
basically makes their attacking impossible. Yeah, <laughs> I was surprised I was taken too. But it's all cool. It's all good. Hawktie live. It sounds fun. Okay, yeah, you think our, our opponent's deck just has barriers and twin disciples? So I couldn't, yeah, I couldn't trump with the Spiderling. I basically could have trumped with like a, a Mist Wraith. But I mean, I like the Mist Wraiths. Like they attack and, and trade. Thanks, Storm. Yep, paying tribute to the best cat on Twitch. Hawkeye. Never forgotten. They're just going to take the 10. Okay. My life will be order. Well, I got three direct damage in hand right now. My life will be ordered. So all we need is, you know, we just gotta be able to do like one more point of damage. Cool, thanks Blake. Yeah, I was playing the buffed elusives quite a bit yesterday and I, I actually didn't do that well with it. And so I started adding in a couple more tricks. And so like the, the version I'm gonna try today has a few more tricks in it. This will give me two spiders that I can trump block Zed and Zed's token with. And if they would have used like some spell to protect their thing, then I could just get excited and kill the Zed, and so I wouldn't have to worry about like the Zed killing me. And then I, you know, I still have all these fearsome things to finish the game out. So it looks really good for us right now. Opponent just having two mana. Not deny me. Who needs Perfect. Got to level thirteen for tomorrow for the vault tomorrow. Perfect.
And we don't have to, like, you know, think that we're wasting the mana, because, you know, because of course, it's going to get banked for spells. All we really need is one of these to connect. I am a true master. They should probably be blocking the first one if they're going to give this life steal and barrier. Do not disappoint me. There, they figured it out. Oh, that's awesome, Storm. Cool. Boo. Here's our chance. All right, well. If they didn't do that, I was going to have Lethal to get excited, but they did that. So I'll just play the Rasa and, and kill their two creatures. Still looks pretty good for us. Hey, Tinker. Uh, just today. Name just changed today. Looks like the name's perfect. We are now undefeated. With the new name. Six hundred. So now I guess I'm just kind of finishing out. So I've got to level eight with all the stuff. So now I'm on Piltover and Zon, just continuing on with, with the uh, rewards. Yeah, Jaro Axel. Yeah, I have. Um, I moved to Legends of Rune Terra for now. Let's see. We'll replace and. All right. What are we playing against? Hecarim Elise. All right. I'm gonna keep the Black Spear. That is a good answer to Elise. This is a good hand. Um, yeah, play, playing this instead of Arena. I just feel like this game is, is a better game than Magic. But it's, it's a new, you know, it's a new game. It's only been out for about a month now. And so I know it doesn't have as big of a following as Magic or anything yet, but if y'all, if y'all haven't checked out Legends of Runeterra, I just wrote about it today. If you'd like to check it out yourself. Hmm. So of course Elise would be my best card to play, but I don't really want to have Elise trade with this thing. Maybe I should just play Elise, because then the next turn I would play Frenzied Skitter. Yeah, maybe I probably should have just played Elise and taken the three. And then I play Frenzied Skitter and then tell this thing that it can't block. Oh, right. Elise can't even block it anyway. I was I was really thinking about like whenever I attack, they would trade. But if I would play the Skitter first, then, then they wouldn't. So... <laughs> of course, I get punished by drawing, just drawing Mystic Shot that would have killed that 3 2. Today we turn the tide of war. So, the next Runeterra patch, you said they're going to sp speed up play animations, the draw card speed, playing card speed, and turn passing. Well, that looks like a pretty fun card to play. I'll play one, too. So they look like a very similar deck, but they're just splashing for Demacia. Instead of splashing for P and Z. So instead of splashing for removal, it looks like they have... 
you know, Vanguard Redeemer. I'm not sure exactly what else they'll have from a Demacia. They don't have any Demacian champions. Oh, for the rally spell also, to be able to get the rally on. So leading with Mist Wraith, so it gives them an opportunity to play another creature, and then I'll play the Skitterer to do the whole minus one thing. Alright, so they got their own Skitterer. Alright, so they can still block with that Mist Wraith. These things are definitely attacking. Yud, yud, we have a new bot. We don't have we don't have the commands. Yeah, there is exclamation point new used to be a command, um, but it's not one anymore. Hey, yep, of exotics. Yeah, just changed the name today. I feel like I probably should have played some. Don't feel like like maybe I should have played some rule. But I don't want to. I don't know. I didn't want to get like blown out by playing removal spell and then they have protection and I don't know. Guess I probably should not have traded off everything though. Thanks, high tech. Good job, Thermogenic Beam. Way to take out Hecarim. Gotta do that. Mm. That's bad. It's very bad. Yeah, so that's a, it's a 10 mana card that just says revive the six strongest things that died this game, and then they get it ephemeral. You can just attack with them. It's a mid range mirror breaker, that's for sure. A 
ephemeral uh, means yeah. Ephemeral means that whenever they the creature strikes, like whenever it deals damage, or whenever or whenever the turn ends, you sacrifice it. So it's only so that that stuff would have only been there for the one turn. But still, that one turn was devastating. Yeah, basically command the dread horde. Basically. You name it, I'll nick it. Don't be calling no enforcers. That could have been a mistake to, to trade off there because. Um, my mystic shot isn't going to kill too much stuff, and it would have killed that thing. Oh, it'll kill this thing too. My hand's not ideal. You don't want to just sit here. Like, this is not a good mystic shot matchup. Like, it's just. Hmm. They had a, a good solid hand. I, th I think they got me. I'll be surprised if we win this. That's even worse than Mystic Shot. Well, we can team both of these up to take down a Heimerdinger. And get a spider. All right, so they're going to kill that, so I'm going to give it plus three, plus three. Um, it's still gonna die because then it gives it ephemeral, so it's gonna die. Really wish we had something good to play here. I just have two Hecarims, and this has really seemed like these games, these last two games, have been really missing having like a Hecarim at the top end. I'd rather have Hecarim than Ledros. This would have been a time where Hecarim would have been amazing and Ledros. Where there is life, not so much. All right, their priority after combat. I pull the string.
I'm expecting them to play something after this if this resolves, like maybe another Karma. All right, we'll, we'll have nine mana next turn, so we'll be able to play Ledros. Cut the enemy nexus in half, round it up. Right, the heal seven. Just to take eight. Of course, they can't deny that if they have a deny. They can counter it. <laughs> Look how happy my Poro is. Still got eight cards over there. Yep. All right, Karma transforms. Ooh, Hecarim is good. You like Karma combo with Freljord. Cast Winter's Breath for one-sided board clear. Oh yeah, like whenever you have a transformed Karma. That card's better than I thought it was. So this is going to be one, two, th so uh, three. So we can attack with one more thing. Act with conviction. Body must thrive for the mind to be free. Yeah, I thought they were gonna like swap twice, but I guess it's just it's just turn one into the other. Just a permanent trade. That that's a really nice card. You know that that Ledros was a you know that was a huge part of how I was gonna win this. All right, looks like the opponent's got it from here. Rest. Yeah, getting just completely getting rid of the Ledros. That's that's pretty nice. Hey, girl making waffles. Thanks for that resub. All right, so it looks like I need to figure out um I guess with the new name then the and QQ with the tier 1 sub. All right, so I guess the the notifications don't work now cuz we got the new name. So I'll have to figure that out. How to change that?
All right, but we got two subs on the day. Gur making waffles and QQ image. Basically in garbage time now of we don't have outs. Oh, I meant I meant to attack with this thing too. <laughs> yeah, they these illegal contraptions. Opponent's cheating. Imminently logical. Okay. We have no chance of of winning from there with Heimerdinger out. But that's what I meant. Like our, our hand was not very good. You know, like we just we were so slow because all we were sitting on was removal spells at the beginning. Didn't have creatures, couldn't put enough pressure on, and so we were just too slow. And they got to just sit alive and uh, set up, and you know, just too slow of a hand. <laughs> Same thing. Trade out three removal spells, get three re removal spells. We need creatures. There we go. All right, two good draws, a two drop and a three drop. This is much more of a mid-range deck, it looks like. We still need those early drops against mid other mid-range decks. Yep. Yeah, it definitely could be barrier. Do they want to counter? All right, so we got a two for two trade. Could be worse. Ledros is looking kind of expensive. Alright, one Fiora kill. Um, oh, it missed. If only Fiora could see me now. She can. She's not impressed. Let's use this one mana here. Let's see if this resolves. Nope. Oh, so now it's just a 3-3 for good? 
Well, that's not good. I shouldn't use that one mana. Yeah, the plus zero plus three was temporary, but because Fiora has is like normally a three three, I guess it do it doesn't go back down. This is not good. So we got four cards left. I fight for the fallen. This isn't good. They are at five. Attacks for three. Okay, yeah, so you just attack with everything. Hold back the darkness. And that's game. So this is gonna judgment's gonna kill all my stuff, and so that means the Fiora is gonna kill four enemies. Can't stop that. Death by a My card's good. Judgment. Our fearsome mid-range deck isn't isn't doing as good today. Not for a little while at least, Dipali. Playing Legends of Runeterra instead. If you haven't checked out this game, I wrote why you should earlier today. You can check that out. Uh, we just we just played against this version with the uh, Demacia splash a little bit ago, but no, I haven't played it myself. Come closer. I don't bite. Last time we played, the PNZ spells were amazing. The removal spells were just awesome for us. This time, they have not been as good.
Cool, QQ. Yeah, all I've, all I've done is just a couple of commands. Just a couple of basic commands. Yeah, Black Team Magic. Yeah, I changed the channel name today. Thank you. Yeah, that's that's what I figured too, Nanyol. Yeah, that I should save the skitter, even though it uses my mana the best this turn, but I should save it for attacking to turn that thing into a 2-3 so it can't block the fearsome stuff. Yep, same page there. Probably should just mystic shot that thing first. It's dangerous out there. Take this. So I'm offering a trade here with this, uh, with one of their three tough three threes, which also clears up a spot as far as being able to play two more spiders. Sturdy blades, custom Man, made. Every battlesmith. I need something to die to play my my skitter this next turn. Form up. I'll turn the tide. Cool. Get rid of another one of these battlesmiths. Remember the fallen. Boo. Well, that don't work out. That didn't work out at all. Safeguard our citizens. No, 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 no. Uh, 
wow, this just did not work, work out at all. Ouch. I don't even have any good attacks. Don't think I'm winning this. Their creatures are just bigger. I am pretty dead. Yeah, we've had some rough games today so far. Let the light guide you. A tribute to the spider god. All right, I'm going to try to, you know, we, we try to flip a lease and use our challenger to try to take out some, some of these other things, like take out the 4-2, take out the 2-3, you know, and then try to have Rasa do some work. I, I don't know. Let me change into something more comfortable. So when when Elise makes a spider, can we force can we have that for, that spider force block something? Like can I have that spider pull this four four? Oh, Elise doesn't make spiders anymore, right? Because Elise flips. Okay, well maybe we just do this then. Which then why would I do this? So we just do this. Okay, but if she did, you would not be able to because you have to do the challenger stuff first.
Well, I don't really have anything. I don't. Yeah, I just don't have anything else. That's about all I got. Okay, so it's just a removal spell. But also takes a lot of toughness away from this thing. Just pass? Yeah! Just passed. Rasa. Kill, kill these two? Wow, okay. We have a chance. I'm not sure exact. I'm not sure what they got for these four cards. They didn't spend any... They didn't want to play anything. Didn't spend any mana. I don't know what the deal is with that. Yeah, so surprised that resolved and everything. Okay, well, that, that thing's big. Rally. They don't really have direct damage. And they're tapped out. I'll just go down to one. Really hope they don't ha have like the give this creature barrier and lifesteal card. <sighs> oh, come on. Wait. Four, five, six, seven. Wait. So I just kill my own thing. Right? Yeah. No more gaining nine life for you. Okay. Ugh, 50, 50 more XP. Let's get it. GG's. That was a good win. Because I didn't think we were winning that. But we somehow did. Alright, well, looks like we got a mirror match. We'll get rid of Ledros and this and this. I'll just take he I'll just keep Hecarim because Hecarim's so powerful. And then try to draw other things to fill out the curve, so that's why I wanted to replace my hand. I want to have a, a full curve. Yeah. Uh, Mister. Yeah, that's why I put that's why I put the um, Rasa at the end so they couldn't like life link block Rasa at the end because all that damage would happen first. But still. Seem like there's a better block than the 4 2.
Just today, Tails. Yeah, I just changed my ch channel name today. Yeah, there was a three unit health, the three health units in front of that. We got a bunch of Mr. Eights. I like that block. Keep the, keeps the mist wraith al mist wraiths alive with their fearsome. I like that. In your expedition yesterday, you got five mist callers and four mist wraiths. Whoa. Ugh, burst. Can't. Can't respond. Mm. I guess I can't do anything about that. You were 6 0 and then lost the final boss at that time. So they got five cards, we got six, so we are up a card right now. And we have a better battlefield, so we'll see what they got as far as tricks go here. I'll drain this thing so they don't get to draw two. Hmm. I think I want to keep them from drawing two. You know, so basically it's still, you know, two for one for me to do that. Go, Hecarim, go. Boo. They had the answer. Oh, we'll put him down to eight. So they're at 16. Get him halfway down. And we're halfway there. Wow.
And these are just gonna trade, right? Like, I guess I don't, I don't really have anything to keep these from trading. Cause I don't have anything right now. All right, two cards, what you got? No, Black Spear. All right, well, we can put him down to two. Assuming they don't have removal. Okay, good. those glimpses all right so where are the real final two cards now come closer I don't bite I think we got this one Rekindler, bring back Hecarim. Alright, one more match. So we're gonna do seven for each one. So there we go. Ooh, we get we get a capsule. What kind of capsule we got? Hey, what's up, Rex? Ooh, a wild capsule. All right, we got four more common wild cards and a rare wild card. We'll take it. So then we're working our way towards this other champion capsule here in PNZ. All right, so we're gonna play. Um, where are we at? Fearsome mid range, ranked. Let's go. Yeah, it does look like the camera is a little delayed. I wonder why that is. Good hand. It's been happening a lot recently. I'm not exactly sure why. Is that better? Wow, I think I fixed it. Wow, did I just fix it in the settings? Man, I am so good. Look at me. The first setting I changed. It, there was like a. I just went to the settings, and one of them had FPS, and one. It just said match output FPS, and instead, 
I changed it to 30 and it looks like it it fixed it Wow um, let's get the horror out here now you've gone and upset it. that's been a problem for a long time now Just fixed it. <laughs> Click the make it work button. Darn. So I wanted the reason why I used that removal spell on that thing was because I wanted to get it out of there and then be able to attack with Elise and get a third spider. And then Elise would be flipping. These are dangerous land. So we're going to uh, gonna go ahead and sacrifice this and then have the Black Spear kill this life blade. Because that life blade is pretty scary. Two two evasion of life link. This is a Lux Karma deck. My path is clear. They grow up so fast. Yeah, there, there is actually there is a good amount of spell-based decks right now in the metagame. Yeah, we'll be playing one up next, the Heimer. Uh, Heimer Lux Control. I guess we'll kill the Elise. So I didn't pull that towards anything because... I mean, I guess I could have pulled it towards the 3-3. Three, three. Maybe I should have done that. I just didn't pull it towards anything because it couldn't block anything. Because all of these had uh, Fearsome. So I just wanted to get the damage in. Um... Lux is your favorite car in the game? Nice.
All right. Got it. I don't know. Does that mean like that I'm going to win? Usually that does. Nope. Uh, let's see. I think I should, yeah, I think I should have just gone for the direct damage, and then, you know, direct damage, and then mark. Because if I would have just gone mark and just let it happen, and then I'd have direct damage, then I could have also just played Rasa this turn. For and all things so yeah, that that was that was a poor line by me. All right, so yeah, that was the wrong line that I took. Hey, Joe. Yeah, new name. My wisdom is now my strength. That's one thing that I do like about the game is a lot of most. Most games that I lose, I can think back of, like, things that I did wrong. And see, I should just cast my, my, my plus three, plus three, the giant growth, and let that happen and just try to hit them. And then they'd be down to two, and then I'd have two lethal removal spells. Um, that's, that's all I should have done there. So I think I could have won that game. But, um... Oh, well... Um, all right, so so we went three and four with fearsome mid range. We started to, you know, like we just kind of started off rough. Uh, first few games, kind of little slow, little uh, little rusty. We were making a comeback there, but then that last game, um, I think I had a better line. Did feel like we had too many spells this time. It didn't really feel like that last time, but I feel like we drew pretty well the last time we played it. Probably my least favorite spell was maybe like the Vile Feast. Um, you know, like the one just wasn't really killing anything. Because yeah, like the deck has 21 units, 19 spells. and I, I think maybe that ratio could change a little bit more in the unit, in units favor. Um, you know, like maybe we don't need three Mark of the Isles or three Vile Feasts. Like those two could probably be trimmed a little bit. Ledros was a little slow. You know, I wish I had a third Hecarim. I'm playing like a Callista over the third Hecarim. I guess we never really saw the Callista. Because, um, you know, you can only have the six champions in the deck. But. Um, okay. Anyway, there we go. There's some fearsome mid range. Um, we got three other decks to play. So those of y'all watching on YouTube, I uh, hope you hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave the comments. I'd appreciate both of those. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.